So in this tutorial, we are finally going to move on to doing something really fun and entertaining, which will be the text 3D video plugin, which rather obviously creates 3D text. So, uh, that will not do anything. Yeah. Mm, it's not a bad game. It's not brilliant. Anyway, so text 3D. Now, quick pop quiz, people. What would logic tell you should happen when we drag and drop the text 3D plugin onto the 100swordspick.bmp clip? Logic should tell us that some option to add text on top of this picture should pop up somewhere. Yes? Well, the fact that I uh, bothered to ask you that question, I think you know what the answer is now, don't you? Yes, it completely overwrites the source, which is absolutely useless for our purposes at this point in time, and is suitably annoying, I think. So annoying, in fact, I actually bothered to do a little something about it. Just for the sake of convenience, I created a nice little image called textholder.bmp simply for the task of holding on to text 3D. Right, so we've got our textholder.bmp which is now going to hold our text overlaid on top of the 100sourcepick.bmp image. So what options have we got with text 3D? So we have a nice little box to create our text. We can extrude it at some length. We can have a bevel our uh, auto bevel faces, uh, front, back, side, and bevel material, in which has various options. So, first thing we're going to do is add some text. So, don't. There we go. We'll make it look a bit better in a minute, but just for the purposes of this. So we have our text, Arial size 8, there's more than enough for our purposes at the moment. Extrude length 0 0.40, Whoa, straight at you. Um, bevel, doink, 0, and so on and so forth. Bevel faces. Well, it's not something you can actually see on a 2D plane, but we imagine it would come into its own as we started going a bit 3D. Right, so we'll just actually add some bevel there just so you can see. And um, we'll extrude it a bit more, just so we've got a bit. So, front material. <coughs> Theoretically, you can use the media itself, but I, I, I can't. Um, I, 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 I don't know, it, it looks like nothing to me, at least nothing useful, but you know, similar sort of options, you know, diffuse, specular, shininess, all of which seem to do bugger all. So, thank yeah, very good. Dark blue, uh, which is actually say is more of a sort of, that sort of blue, isn't it? But anyway, yeah, so front material. Back material, same as this, but we can't see it right now, but... Ah, uh, well, hold on. In fact, just make the back material red, and then transform 3D. Uh, and go white. There we go. Well, while we're here. So, there we are. Bevel faces. Mm. Just how smooth the bevel is from the looks of that. But anyway, yeah, we are. Back material has dutifully gone red, so we'll just reset that. Side material, which is basically the stuff that we use in the extrude. Um, let's make it a nice yucky green colour for the moment. Again. Showing this, I would imagine perhaps if you added lighting to this, it'd probably come into its own a bit more. But say for the moment, also on these doesn't seem to do a lot. I'm sure there is a point to it. And bevel material, 
doink. Okay. So, congratulations, we just covered all the options, but that's, as with so many things, it's not the entire story. So, Sega is here. Very good. Now, that's absolutely no use for our purposes right here for creating anything to go on this 100 source picture. We really want to alter the font. So, on a lot of other, well, some of the other um, uh, video editors I've used, um, you can just, you know, pick your font from here. In this case, we're going to go for the classic Sega font. Once I find it, there he is. And it will alter the thing entirely. But that doesn't work here. You've physically got to highlight it, the text. And then... Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Alter it. Happily changes. Click out. And we've been lovely. And it's nicely altered. Now, there's no... Uh, there are quite a few limits with this. There are no uh, text formatting features beyond increasing or we decreasing the size. About eight. Or making these things randomly bold. Italic or underlined, which doesn't seem to have worked here. Also, so I'll just get rid of the underlined and all this stuff. Also, you'll notice that hit and return once, we'll put it onto a new line, hit and return again, or multiple times, will not add a uh, gap in between these things. You've got to physically put a space on the empty line to create that. And similarly, if you ever want any sort of lining up, yeah, something like that. So, this is our full Sega. Um, what color do you think we should make the side material? I uh, don't want to make it white. In fact, let's just get rid of the extrude entirely. No, we can't do that, because if we get rid of the extrude entirely, we can't have a bevel, which is absolutely, again, useless to our purposes. So, the smallest of extrudes, a bit of a bevel, and there we go. Especially if we then, well then make the blah, 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 side material a nice white as well. The classic Sega font. Sega is here. Yes. Yes it is. So yeah. And obviously we can do all sorts of Manipulations and whoop, to be this good takes ages, <laughs> and so forth. And that, in a nutshell, is text 3D. It's not, like I say, the actual adding the text and so forth isn't the most advanced. Um, you're ever going to come across, which is a little bit annoying, but never mind. Nothing is perfect. So uh, that's it for Text3D. I'll see you next time.